Good morning, everybody. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Happy Valentine's, everyone. Um, so it's just me again today, alone on Valentine's. I'm just kidding. I just had to give my husband a, a little hard time. Um, number one, you'll have to forgive me. My um, the silent reflux and my asthma is really bad today. Um, secondly, um, for the next few weeks, um, it's going to be a very light crew, um, which is me. Um, we'll see how my husband fares in the next couple weeks. Um, but my sweet and amazing husband is in the hospital um, due to double pneumonia and um, the COVID virus. Um, we have received an abundance of prayers and um, God has really shown me how um, he really works and really works through others. Um, and so I wanna thank everyone um, for your continued prayers. Um, if he continues to show improvement, he'll be able to come home Monday and that will be the best Valentine's gift ever. Um, also, Phoebe Thompson had eye surgery this week, um, and Johnny Johnson had um, shoulder surgery this week. So God, we just want to lift John and Phoebe and JJ up in prayer to you today. And we ask for complete restoration and healing of their bodies from head to toe. Lord, we ask as we enter service today that you work through us from our hearts and deep within our spirits. Help us to remove our burdens and replace them with your love and humility. Help us to forgive, to reconcile, and to repent. Help us to see our victories through you. Bless us as we enter into your word, as we praise you, as we worship and glorify you. Let us feel the deep embrace of your love for us. Bring us into your presence. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. How does our strength become renewed through waiting. When we suffer hardship, we become drained physically, emotionally, and mentally. It's during our hardships that we cry out to God the most. And oftentimes that we cry out to God, there's a want or a need that we may have. And when we cry out, we say, why, God? Why is this happening to me? Or God, heal me. Save me. And we want these done right away, instantaneously. Boom! Hit you on the forehead, knock you down on the ground. You are healed, rise up, kind of deal. But many times, God does not work like that. Don't get me wrong. He does. He performs miracles and, and instantaneous miracles. 
But many times, God needs for us to wait. And it's not because he can't help. And it's not because that he doesn't care. Because God does help. And he cares for us and loves us tremendously. But it's because he needs for us to wait. We become exhausted and burdened from life circumstances. And not only does that make our body weak, but we become weak in our spirit. We start to become broken. We start to fall away. But even though we may become faint and we may become weary, God never becomes faint. He never becomes weary. Instead, he does the opposite. He gives us power. When we wait on the Lord for strength, it's not like we are waiting to bide our time like we're at the grocery store and in line waiting to be checked out. It's not like we are biding our time waiting at a traffic light to move forward. This is a, it's a different kind of wait. It is a wait that renews strength. It is a wait of hope. It is a hope for and anticipate kind of wait. It is a wait where instead of biding our time in anger or impatience or taking our hurt and hurting others, this is a time where we use it to serve the Lord. It is a time where we focus our attention on God. When we learn what God's desires are for us. And we attend to them. But what are these desires? It is prayer. And we need to take that time to pray. We need to take that time to seek the Lord through scripture. It is a time to strengthen our bond and our relationship with him. And in turn, in doing this, in this waiting and this seeking out of God, no matter how weak we may be in our body, in our spirit, through this seeking, he renews us. He renews our strength with him. He lifts us up on eagle's wings so that we can soar above with him. Because God is our center because God loves us because God is our salvation the strength that comes from this renewal is mighty it is powerful not even Superman could break a strength that is so great and there is no secret to this strength. There's no, nothing hidden. You don't need to do anything physical. 
You don't need special powers to get this strength. You just need God. Let us pray. Redeem us, Lord. Help us to set our eyes and hearts on you. We ask that you renew us. Renew our spirits. Renew our lives. And through this renewal, give us strength. We lay ourselves at your feet and come to you in reconciliation today. And through this reconciliation, we mercifully ask for your forgiveness of our sins and the sins of others. Forgive us. Forgive us for the times when we did not put your ways first. Help us to repent and to change those ways. Bring a peace into our souls, a peace that surpasses all worldly understanding. Make us a light for others to see your strength in your love. Lord, we mercifully ask for restoration and healing of our bodies, our health, our minds, our hearts, our spirits, in our relationship with you. We ask for protection and spiritual healing for all of your people, even our enemies who try and seek harm against us and try to pull us away from you, Lord. We ask that you help those who are grieving to find peace and strength through your love and the love of others. So this morning, we, we lift up the following people to you in prayer for protection, for restoration, for healing, for renewal and strength. We lift up Johnny Johnson, Dave, Phoebe Thompson, Richard Scoff, Alan Allison, Scott Schaefer, Jody Schaefer, John Bechter, Mike Bechter, Angie Bechter, Megan Pickle, George Sigelmeyer. Jimmy Huber, Deanna Harvey, The O'Shea Family, James Gardner, J.C. Wagner, Nate Doney, Joseph Smith, John Mills Sr., Jeffrey Weiner, Christy Wamsley, Brandy Maines, Marie Anderson, Claude Custer, Alexandria Custer, Nora Miller, and Scott Miller. And for all of those in need of prayer from Riverside Outreach, and for all of those who call out to you in faith, Lord. We pray for the unborn who did not have a choice of life. Cradle them in your arms 
and grant to them eternal peace with you. We ask that you forgive those who made the decision to end the life of an unborn baby. Move on their heart for repentance. Help them to seek you, to seek forgiveness, and to reconcile with you. We ask that you extend your hand of protection to the unborn who are threatened by abortion and save them from its destructive power. Move on the hearts of all of those who have decided to make abortion an option. Show them the joy of welcoming and nurturing the life of which you are the source and the eternal father. Give them the grace to sacrifice themselves in body and soul. We pray for our leaders and those in authority. And we ask that you would, that they would hear your voice in your heart. Give them the wisdom and the courage and the strength to choose the right path, to choose the path that is yours. Give them grace and strength to stand against temptation. And Lord, we pray for mankind. We open their, please open their hearts and help them to seek you. Help them to embrace your morals, your ethics, your humbleness, your love. Help them to embrace you in your ways. Open their hearts, Lord, to come to you. If anyone has any petitions on their hearts, let us take this moment in silence as we lift them up together with you in prayer to the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. If you're joining us virtually this morning, which everybody is, <laughs> um, I ask that you please take a moment to grab a cracker or a piece of bread and some water or juice so that you can join us in communion and the beautiful reminder of the Lord's love for us. Communion is a time of remembrance and reflection of the sacrifice that God made for us by sending his only son Jesus to die for us and our sins so that we may be resurrected through him in new life. It is a time of reconciliation and forgiveness. It is a time of grace, a time of thankfulness. It is a time to remember that we are nourished by the Lord and he is the one that satisfies us. So Lord, we ask that you bless this communion this morning. When the hour had come, he sat down and the 12 apostles with him. Then he said to them, with fervent desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, 
I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup and he gave thanks and said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Let us take this cup in remembrance of the blood that was shed for our sins. I give thanks to you, O oh Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. Amen.
If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Sorry, I don't have a sound tech. I am the sound tech.
should Christ be known, our hope in salvation, Christ alone. Jesus said, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today.
Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand.
Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him. Be firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to this eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you.
Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Thank you. 
Never forget the greatness of our Heavenly Father. Loving God, we thank you for hearing our prayers and feeding us with your word, encouraging us and helping us to become closer to you. Take us and use us to love and serve you and all of your people. Help us to wait. Help us to be servants of you and your ways. Watch over us and protect us. Help us to keep your word so that we may not sin against you. Help us to seek salvation with you. So in the power of your spirit, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, we go in love and peace. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Love you guys. <laughs>